Yo, 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 what is up guys? It's your boy Ty Skits here, and today we're playing Car Extra Fracing Online. Now, I hope you guys really do enjoy this Car Extra Fracing Online video. I'm making a new type of tune now. These tunes are gonna be for intermediate to pro players. I'm no longer making beginner or arcadey type tunes. I'm gonna try to make my tunes as realistic as possible without pushing the limits too much because you can only make the tunes so realistic without them spinning out and yada 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 so no i'm not running 100 percent ackerman but the ackerman for the new cars that i'm putting out will be at least 40 percent or higher the three new cars that i tune tonight are all 50 percent ackerman tunes so they're really good they transition really well they're really fast cars like this car is really really quick and i just want to give you guys this tune i was going to do the pirate first but i'm going to hold off on the pirate I'm gonna get all the cars out that you guys really want, like the Wellington S20, the Fusion SX is another highly requested build, so uh, definitely be expecting that Fusion later on and possibly a car extra racing YouTube stream on Twitch or YouTube. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into this video. So, like I said, we got the Wellington here. This is a class three vehicle, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my Discord so that you guys can have the tune for pc players i'm going to start uploading all my tunes to my discord and put them in a category so you guys can download them and then ps4 nintendo switch and xbox players will be able to watch the video and get the tune but if you're on pc and you still want to watch the video for my ads and you know and for my watch time i'd really appreciate that you know still show some support but with that being said what you want to do is get that ultimate mod on the vehicle drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab a body kit i'm running the new street body kit i love the look of this body kit you know it's it's really different from what we've seen in the past and i'm rocking with it because it's fire now i know a lot of you guys are probably going to ask me what side skirt do i have i have the missile side skirt and for the rear bumper i have the missile rear bumper it has a really nice look to it you know it goes with that black fade that i put at the bottom there um yeah but other than that let's go ahead and get to the dino stand for the suspension your front spring length is going to be 15 rear is going to be 11 you can have have this lower if you want it's up to you but just for like you know the bounces and stuff like when you're going through the track i left the suspension a little high in the back a little high in the back and a little bit higher in the front i'm gonna start running my suspension a little bit higher just so those tires have more clearance because i noticed having it to where it's like just enough clearance when you're drifting through the track and um it'll like uh, go through the fender sometimes and i think i got hiccups mid video but i'm gonna still finish this video out uh front spring stiffness of 105 rear spring step god dang it i have hiccups rear spring stiffness 100 uh front damper fast so i'm 16,750. Rear damper fast bump 12,750. Front damper fast rebound 18,500. Rear damper fast rebound 16,250. Chat or er, guys, this is literally the worst time to get hiccups, bro. Come on, bro. I'm trying to make a video here, bro. All right. Front damper bump at 15,000. God dang it. Front damper bump at 15,500. Rear damper bump at 12. 12,750. Front damper rebound 14,250. Rear damper rebound 12. 12,750. <laughs> I can barely talk. <laughs> front, front toe negative 0 0.35. Rear toe 0 0.15. Front camera is going to be at a negative 4, just about negative 4. Rear camera is going to be a negative 0 0.80. Front rear to rear bar 20. Caster at 10. Ackerman at 50. Max string angle at 60 degrees. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 18, front and rear tire with 285, front tire pressure 90, rear tire pressure 95, front and rear wheel adhesion 100, front wheel, tra front wheel track 3, rear base 0. Sorry if I'm pausing mid word, I have hiccups. <laughs> okay, front and rear tire profile 30%. And then for the engine, this is your secret formula to make the car very fast. Engine tune up 5%, max torque 4,750. 50, gravel water 9,750, turbocharger, yes, turbocharger, air pressure, 2.1. For the transmission, uh, turn sequential on, deflect ratio 1.00, final drive 3.75, gear 1, 3.45, gear 2, 1.37, gear 3, 1.17, gear 4, 1.08, gear 5, 1.02, and gear 6 is going to be 0 0.98. All right, for the brakes, your brake torque is going to be 3,250 for right by 60%. ABS, nope. 
launch control tandems no all right so i'm really excited to show you guys this tune man these new new tunes that i'm going to be dropping are going to be straight super hot fire but i'm not a rapper so let's head on let's head out to cami road i'm gonna show you guys how good the transitions and angle and speed is this car is insane let's get it So basically, this car, I'd say, is realistic because it has minimal front damper, or it has minimal front uh, tire, what is it called? It has minimal front tire, I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, but you know like those lines that come from the front tire when you get like, like a little bit of angle? This has minimum front tire, like a uh, slip, I should say, I don't know what to call it, but basically, this car, is a lot faster than my previous tunes and has better handling because of the higher Ackerman. The higher Ackerman has allowed my front wheels to point in the same direction a lot better around corners so that my car can roll forward a lot smoother and faster and at the same time give it better handling. Now what I've been do what I've been doing is I've been doing a lot of research on Ackerman, um, toe, caster, you know, suspension settings and things of that nature. And I just want to let you guys know this. Now, this is not a shot towards Smokey Wolf or anything, but I'm sorry to say this for anyone that watches Smokey Wolf. 100% Ackerman does not make the car realistic. In fact, not every single drift car in real life runs 100% Ackerman. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and do your own research. In fact, drifters IRL do almost everything they can to stop from spinning out. For people that drift IRL, one of the biggest problems is spinning out and they actually have custom, custom knuckles that they use to be able to, you know, adjust things like Ackerman, Toe, Caster, and Camber and they definitely do not run their Ackerman at 100%. I figured out the way you want to set your Ackerman up is, especially on a drift car, is like this. So basically on a drift car, you're going to have, you're going to have positive Ackerman and I'll explain to you guys what positive and negative Ackerman is in a, in a little bit give me one second but every drift car has positive Ackerman if you have less than positive Ackerman or, no, or or if you have less than positive yeah and if you have less than positive Ackerman or just straight negative Ackerman that could be a problem but it all depends it all depends on what car you're using and stuff like that so let me go ahead and explain to you guys what negative Ackerman is if you look at the wheels well right here there's a lot a lot of Ackerman so basically when you look at the wheels um, the front wheels of the car if you were able to actually look at the trajectory of the lines somewhere in front of the cars the two parallel lines that would basically be coming out of these wheels would cross in the front so if your two front wheels like let's say that we drew two imaginary lines right here right here and right here so the line coming from this wheel would be going this way and the line coming from this wheel would be going this way somewhere down the line those two lines should cross which means your two front wheels should should never be pointing the same direction 24 7 which is what 100 percent ackerman will give you or too high of an ackerman will, will give you so running 100 percent ackerman does not make the car realistic in fact there are many other factors factors that go into a car that make it realistic now what positive ackerman is or what negative ackerman is i should say because positive ackerman is when you're two front wheels meet in the your pair the parallel lines meeting off the two front wheels and meet somewhere down the road now negative ackerman is basically basically the exact opposite negative ackerman is for more like you know grip turning you know for like regular cars you know what i'm saying so with negative ackerman that would be basically means that the two wheels in the front in the front uh like if the car was going through a turn the two lines in the front of the car would meet somewhere or cross somewhere going backwards so if this was a negative Ackerman tune the two front wheels would be turning at a 
a certain way so that the front two lines coming off the wheels would never meet but the front two back lines would cross parallel if you guys want me to make a video and go more in depth with um the exp explanation of ackerman uh let me know down below in the comment section but i just want to let you guys know a hundred percent does not make the car realistic smoky wolf i hope you see this video you are wrong and you have fooled your viewers into believing that your tunes are realistic just because they have a hundred percent ackerman and whatever else you may do but i'm just here to let everyone know 100 percent ackerman does not make your tune realistic do your research look into drifting yourself so you can find out the truth and stop listening to these ignorant youtubers with that being said this is when your boy ty skids playing car extra racing online and i'll see you guys next time peace